It's a hot summer day here in Los Angeles. I went to my garden and I was enjoying my garden and I saw that some tomatoes are almost ripened. And those are my tomatoes. I'm so proud of it. It has some imperfections. It has some bruises, but it tastes out of this world. It's so tasty. It's organic. And green onions are from my garden as well and the mint. But I did not have enough parsley, so those are parsley from the market. And I decided what's more perfect than refreshing tabule. Good afternoon, I'm Margaret Lalikian and welcome to Margaret Lalik's kitchen. Today we are going to make Lebanese tabule. Tabule is a salad, it's refreshing and it's so light and delicious and it's so easy to make. Here are the ingredients. I have diced my tomatoes in small pieces and I transferred it into a salad bowl. Now I'm cutting the green onions. Transferring the onions into a salad bowl as well and now I am chopping the parsley. As you can see I am chopping a lot of parsley and parsley is the main ingredient in this salad so you can chop as much as you want. Actually maybe a bunch or two bunches. Bunches were a lot thicker before now it's becoming a lot thinner I don't know why but in markets a bunch is not too much so use one or two bunches. We also use mint in this recipe, in this salad. So don't use too much mint because it could become overpowering, but it's very refreshing. Just use enough. Even though in tabule they don't usually use uh, green peppers, but I like it because I like the taste of the pepper and I have it so I might as well use it and I love the taste so I'm going to use half of it Lemon is a must in this salad and I'm using one big lemon. I'm using quarter cup of number one bulgur which is the finest and I'm going to soak the bulgur with lemon to make it softer. Now I'm going to cut two more tomatoes. I cut two before, now I'm cutting the other two and I'm going to add this on top of the bulgur so bulgur will absorb all the juices so it won't be soggy, it will absorb all the juices. Tomatoes goes on top of the bulgur as well, so the bulgur will absorb all the juices. And while the bulgur is becoming softer and absorbing all the juices, the lemon juice and the tomatoes, uh, I'm going to wash my lettuce. Thank you. 
I have to wash lettuce very carefully because it uh, traps a lot of dirt and insects and I have to change the water so many times until it clears. Now I'm adding all the spices on top of the tomato. I'm adding salt, cayenne pepper, paprika, and black pepper. I'm also adding 3 to 4 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm mixing it to make sure that everything is incorporated. And I'm transferring the bulgur mixture on top of the herbs that I have prepared before. Once everything is mixed and well incorporated, our tabula is ready and it will be ready to be served. Our tabula is ready. Now I'm going to taste it to make sure that it has enough seasoning. And it's perfect. I don't need to add anything. We usually eat tabula with lettuce. I'm going to try it with lettuce. Let's see how it tastes. Well, it's delicious and it's perfect for summer. I'll go serve my summer lunch. This is perfect with a side of cutlet and um, any kind of meat. It could be barbecue, it could be anything, any kind of meat, fish or chicken. Well, I hope you like my presentation. I hope you like my recipe and I suggest you to make it and enjoy it as well. Thanks for joining me today at Margaret Nalik's Kitchen. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week and wonderful life. Bye bye.